r slash ask reddit by keyboard warrior comments how do you ruin a funeral by bringing only one item a giant framed picture of someone else bonus points if the picture is of yourself one up if it's of yourself hanging out with the dead person's former enemy two up if it's a nude self portrait three up if it's a nude painting of them Four up if it's a nude picture of you and the deceased with nooses around your neck making a suicide joke. Five up if it's not a painting, but a sculpture made out of the deceased body. Six up if you hang yourself and the dead body from the ceiling. Seven up if you have a refreshing lemon lime flavor. A laugh track soundboard. Seinfeld theme included. I mean what is the deal with funerals, right? Boom bomb boo 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 let in dumb bad ump bap. Edit. Thanks. Why do they call it awake? This guy looks asleep. Get well soon balloon. I'm officially requesting this at my funeral. If anyone gets offended by it, they don't deserve to be at my funeral. Seriously though, this actually seems like a great way to break the ice at my funeral. Is a clown suit one item? because I've got an idea. You can't spell funeral without F-U-N. You are now a moderator of r slash New Orleans. Chips. Munches during the eulogy. My friend's biggest pet peeve is people eating crisps on public transport. She texts me raging about it fairly regularly. She would have an aneurysm if she was at a funeral and someone did this. And then I'd do it at her funeral, just to rub it in confetti bring in a truck of it pretend it's the body until it's halfway in and they're going to bury it and they open it up then inside there's a giant confetti cannon time to fire at them at that exact moment never done this before but i think it will have quite an effect the fact that this is similar to how my dad asked to be buried but he just wanted some confetti cannons attached inside the coffin in a way so that when it was opened they would shoot out confetti another casket with a body sorry mr baker we had another little mix up at the parlor this is the real one i promise it this time since you already have the hole dug you mind if we throw one more in it a grim reaper costume my dad actually wants a grim reaper at his funeral standing in the corner saying nothing i might use a mannequin tbh Takes notes for my future will. Air horn. Vivuzela. That's how you ruin everything. Didgeridoo. Wetsuit. Just imagine everyone grieving and you see some dude fresh out of the ocean with his snorkel still on. I'm getting someone to do this at my funeral. Google eyes. Put them over the dead person's eyes as you solemnly tell everyone it's an important ritual in your religion that allows the deceased spirit to see their way to the other side. Does anyone know if I can ensure this is done to me when I die? Could probably add it to your will. Bring the mistress. Or, like at my grandfather's funeral, have the mistress bring the hitherto unrevealed love child. AKA how my mom learned of her half-brother. It's like some mad soap opera. I want to hear more. What happened next? It turned out that the mistress was the mom's elementary school teacher, and upon realizing this, the mom attacked the mistress. They fell into the open grave together, still fighting. The two had to be separated by the uncomfortably hairy uncle who used to be a police officer. Seeing all of this put the grandmother in so much distress, she had a heart attack and died. Roll credits and wait for next season to start. A six foot cardboard cutout of Nicolas Cage. They said ruin, not improve. Ghostbusters outfit. Get the proton pack, fill it with silly string, have two friends come along, one who hides behind the casket, and the other also wearing a Ghostbuster outfit. Have the friend behind the casket start shaking it, then you and the other guy run up yelling I ain't afraid of no ghosts. While spraying everyone and everything with silly string. Finish it off by crossing the streams. Best funeral ever. 
barbecue sauce, but it only works if you keep hungrily eyeing the casket and asking questions like is anyone else starving? Starts cutting. I had an aunt who brought her boyfriend to her husband's funeral. Her husband had killed himself. So, I'm going with bringing a lover to your spouse's funeral. I know of a similar situation. There was this guy I went to high school with. His long-term girlfriend cheated on his with this other guy and then brought him to the funeral when guy number one killed himself over it. I thought it was in poor taste to say the least. That's disgusting. Talk about being a scumbag. Bring copies of the deceased's browser history. They're already dead, you don't need to murder them too. Yes, you've already had first death. What about second death? Bring the murderer. Walks in with a tube of cancer. Cigarette. Nah. Glitter. Sprinkle it on the dead person's face. I'd say putting out a cigarette on the deceased is way more dramatic. Try vacuuming glitter from a dead person's face. It isn't easy. Well, one way to ruin a funeral would be to do an unboxing video for YouTube. A dirt bike and just sit there revving it. How to ruin anything, probably including a dirt bike race. Bring a flamethrower to get the cremation process started early. Why am I picturing Rick Dalton in the 14 fists of McCluskey? Mario plus one mushroom. That'd be positive though. Not always. They never come back, the same. Not if you use it on yourself and teabag the body. Slide whistle. Blow it as the casket is being lowered. As she ascends to heaven to be with Jesus. Slide whistle goes up. Pull out a karaoke machine and start singing along with I'm walking on sunshine. If people try to stop you, act confused and shout man, this place is dead. That is kinda normal here in the Philippines. One of my friends passed away a couple of years ago, and while we were in the waiting room at the hospital, we started talking about what kind of music to play at his wake. Because we're such awful people, it was a list of totally inappropriate ones, but ones that our friend would have found funny. Ones that I can remember were Highway to Hell, Zombie, Another One Bites the Dust, I Touch Myself, and Stay in Alive. Edit to add, we did end up playing most of the ones we came up with. I legit went to a funeral where someone showed up late and blamed traffic. It was for someone who died in a car accident. Sorry I'm late guys. Traffic was murder. Better than speeding and following the dead person. The other half of the body. Bring the body of the deceased. Just imagine everybody looking into the casket all confused and you briskly jogging in saying, ish, guys hold on I got M right here while a dead, limp body is slung over your shoulder. Bring your wife a body pillow and I'm sure people will have some choice words about it. Don't give me that look. Hanako-chan needs to grieve, too. Get a custom-made wafer pillow where she's wearing black veil and negligee to truly set the mood. F man, just imagining this makes me shudder with cringe. Bring an additional casket. When someone asks about it, just give a knowing smile and say you'll see. Boombox. Plays only hip-hop songs. Bring some boiled goose too. Everyone was wearing fingerless gloves. I'll take an Xbox Live kid with me and then he will call everyone's mom gay. If that happens at any event I go to I'll just wait till the end and tell the kid no you. Totem of Undying. Hey that's pretty funny. This is dark humor done right. Pinata. But it looks like the person you're burying. A paid stripper whose cue is any music slash singing. So someone would start singing Amazing Grace and the stripper would start twerking? Bomb. Don't buy professional grade though, that isn't as good for killing the mood because then there's no one left in the city you ruined it for. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.